evening. You are watching TMB News. I'm Anjusukha. Let's have a look at the top news of the day. BJP candidate for Inner Manipur said, Thaunaujam Basanta said, he cast his vote for unity and integrity of Manipur and also for the return of peace and resettlement of displaced people by the communal violence after exercising his franchise at Utlo Primary School polling station. He exuded confidence of victory, indicating people understand and will give a clear mandate to the policies taken up by the BJP government. INC candidate Angomcha Bimol Akoyjam, accompanied by his wife, was among the early voters to exercise their franchise at Ramlal Pool Higher Secondary School polling station in Kaishangtong, AC. He expressed confidence of emerging victorious in the polls, even if rampant voting malpractices are carried out, maintaining that he is riding on a strong wave of favorable public sentiment. Chief Minister N. Biren, accompanied by his wife Hiainu Devi, cast his vote for the Inner Manipur Parliamentary Constituency at Srivan Higher Secondary School polling station at Lawang Sangbam Mamanglekar. The Speaker of Manipur Legislative Assembly, Thokchom Satya Brata, was also among the first to vote at the Youth Athletic Star Union polling station at Brahmapur Bhagavati Lekar. BJP has filed complaints with ECI, CEO Manipur and concerned ROs against INC candidate Bimal Akoyjam on multiple charges of violation of election, model code of conduct and discouraging conduct of free and fair election. General Secretary of BJP K. Sarat Kumar accused Bimola Koyjam of storming inside the perimeters of different polling stations along with his large number of supporters, destroying the election atmosphere and compromising free and fair conduct of voting. MPCC President Kasha Megachandra has raised concern about booth capturing, booth rigging and other electoral malpractices in several places. He mentions about several such incidents in places like Thanga in Bishnupur district, Hainang Mayai Lekai, Kiamgai and Andro Assembly constituencies. The first phase of Lok Sabha election 2024 has been marred by incidents of violence despite tight security measures in place. The tranquility of the polling process was shattered when gunfire erupted at a polling station in Thamanpokpi located under Moirang AC in Bishnupur district. Reports indicate that the disturbing incident resulted in at least three casualties, prompting authorities to swiftly reinforce security measures in the area. Police have arrested three persons who were reportedly involved in the violent incident at a polling station at Moirang Kampu, along with a small firearm and five live bullets in their possession. A 60-year-old man, Koshnam Sanayama, had received a bullet injury in his back shoulder from gunshots fired by miscreants who were trying to capture the polling booths. Arambai Tengol has clarified that it has not given any instructions to indulge in the kind of activities perpetrated by utilizing its name during the Lok Sabha elections conducted today as suggested by several viral video posts being circulated. In the clarification, it said this could be the handiwork of the workers of the MLA of the given assembly constituency or the candidates contesting the polls. A vehicle carrying five Japanese nationals was targeted by a suicide bomber on Friday in Karachi's Landi area, Dawn News reported citing the police. The police say that the Japanese nationals were hurt in the incident, however the terrorists who were involved in carrying out the attack were killed. As per available data till 3.30 p.m., the voter turnout percentage from two Lok Sabha seats in Manipur that went to polls as a part of its first phase on Friday, April 19, has recorded a figure of 63.03%. This percentage is still likely to go up as at the time of compilation, data from some remaining polling parties from remote locations was yet to be consolidated, the official said. The voting for the inner Manipur Lok Sabha seat was around 67.7% and the outer Manipur LS seat reserved for the scheduled tribes was 54.6% till 3.30 p.m. After registering a comprehensive win over the ARC rivals, Mumbai Indians defending champions Chennai Super Kings will now turn their attention to their next encounter against the Lucknow Super Giants at Ikano Sports City Centre Lucknow on Friday. 
The latter are struggling to find their rhythm back after having been outplayed in their last two encounters as they will be looking to bounce back with a win.